Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Victoria 2, the Macedonian Empire. In the last episode, we started working on expanding or, you know, sending out our influence to try to bring some other uh, nations into our sphere, specifically Japan. I think we started working on Funj there. I know we're trying to influence this little guy. I can't remember. There were, there were a couple of others that we were working on. Um, we also started justifying a war goal against Ava here to try to take some of their territory. Because um, we're going to be focusing on trying to expand militarily into this region here. Um, Indochina, Indonesia, you know, across the South Pacific. I'm trying to take all of this territory. Um, Europe, we're pretty much um, going to ignore for now. I mean, we did most of our expansion in Europe that we're going to be doing for a while um, in Europe Universalis. Um, so unless they make themselves a nuisance, we're pretty much going to let Europe do, do its thing. Um, what we were also doing is working on expanding some of our colonies. So we were expanding the North American colonies through, um, through here. We got Nunavut. Um, and we're working on, um, I think this is Manitoba. Yeah, Manitoba. Uh, we also are starting to work on some uh, sections of Africa here. And also the one piece of uh, Papua here that we don't have at the moment. All right. And we were also had a whole bunch of, like, uh, rep... Rebel uprisings popping up. I'm not exactly sure what we can do about that. Other than if they do actually revolt, then just put them down hard. Um, the other thing we were doing is building some new transports. Transports, creating steam transports to replace our old clipper transports that are kind of obsolete now. And I think um, are bugged in the converted save because they're aren't getting the supplies they need even though we are making supplies for them so you know that's just something we have to deal with um that's gonna be a project that's gonna be running for a while is um, modernizing the navy i'm um, getting up to the best we can build now so what we're gonna do is i think continue this work i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our ports here to build um, transports. Yes. Actually, I'm going to take this fleet. I'm going to move it over here just to kind of get it out of the way for the moment. I'm going to actually just unpause it. Again, keeping things moving slow. Um, this is a fairly short game. It's only 100 years, so running slow is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, I'm going to want to move this fleet over here. We're going to have these guys continue to build uh, steam transports. Come on, Venice. Steam transports. Steam transports. Ah, we gained the Acquire State Castle's Bell against Ava. Okay, so we are done that. Got more uprisings. Steam transports. Okay, so let's pause it here for a second while I take care of this. Um, Rome. Now, what we can build is we can build commerce raiders. Uh, now, what do they compare to? Let's see. They have attack of 5, a hull of 6, max speed of 11 kilometers per hour, firing range of 60. So, they got better attack, better hull than my frigates. And better firing range than my frigates. They don't have as good an attack as my mana wars. They have better hull and almost as good firing range. So I think the commerce raiders are a good replacement for the frigates. So let's build let's build some of these guys for now. Let's build a few of them. Let's, let's get these guys building. And what we're going to want to do also is expand the naval bases. 
over here. Oh, this naval base is already expanding. Okay. Because we're going to need some pretty large naval bases as we get more modern ships. So we're going to work on that. That's going to cost us some money. That is definitely going to cost us some money. So we might have to... Raise the tariffs a little bit, increase the taxes here, and we'll just tax the poor. I'll crank this up a little bit. We are going to want to try and bring the taxes and everything down at some point. Yeah, we are making way, way more than we need. Way more than we need. There we go. Let's bring that down a bit. Okay. Ooh, what do we got here? Ah, we can increase opinion. Sphere of influence, Chernigov. Ah, Chernigov. We were influencing them. Um, increase... What is their opinion of us? Their opinion of us is neutral. Okay, so go ahead and increase it. We need to get up to friendly before we can sphere them. Uh, secret society. Local consciousness plus... Little pops become 30% more liberal. Uh, we'll Let's see, gain... We don't want the... The militancy will take the consciousness instead. All right, we still got some new military units. Oh, oh, that's right. I almost forgot we need to declare this war because the actual Cassus Belli's don't last very long in this game. So let's go ahead and declare war. We're gonna acquire state. Actually, hold on. Let's cancel. Cancel this for a second. I want to see what states we want to get. Um, let's get this region here. Uh, Rangoon, Pegu. So, alright, let's declare war. This will be our first war we're going to be fighting in this game. So, let's see. This one. Acquire... I think we can add more war goals as things go, but we'll just proceed. All right, so we have to get the, I think we have to get the, the war score up to this point to be able to achieve our goal. If I am correct on that. So. Supply limit 15, supply limit 10. Uh, let's... Two infantry divisions in the cavalry. So you guys move in there. Uh, let's start marching these guys, because actually this is not Ava here. Let's put them at 25. Okay, so let's bring these guys down here. I think Ava was actually in the middle of a war. Yes, this war here. With, uh... With these guys that are almost the same color, so... A little bit confusing there. So, you know, I don't want to move an army that small in. Oh, they're bringing in 24. Bringing in 24. Tr 
We're gonna have to bring in reinforcements. Ooh, what's this? We can increase the opinion of Japan. Uh, Asia, Japan. Japan is now friendly, so that means that once we get a hundred score, we can then um, sphere them. So you guys come out, come here. We're gonna bring our whole army in. So we really want to win this battle. Oh, Battle of Pegu, we won. I see, so you can stay there. Let's just merge everybody together. And those guys march in. Yeah, let's march them in. And let's see if we can knock out that whole army. Uh, Chernigov. Someone has talked ill of us behind our back. The opinion of us in Chernigov had dropped back to neutral, and we would suspect oh, Georgia. All right, Can, yep. let's do that. We may be able to wipe this whole army out because I don't think they're gonna be able to retreat anywhere. Especially once we move this guy in here. More uprisings. Oh, we were able to siege that down. Let's move them in there. Are we going to have this uprising in, like, every single one? Ooh, some... Yep, we're going to enforce the Macedonian Curricula. We keep getting the same events over and over and over again. Yep, we were able to defeat them there. And we should be able to win this battle. I'm not sure what I can do about this. Various movements. Russian liberation. I think it's because we have so many different cultures. Because I didn't get everybody converted. Oh well. Liberal insurrection. Uh, I'm going to negotiate with the leaders. So what is the war score here? 11%. Now, can I... I guess I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, uh, yeah, let the farmer keep some, reduce the militancy. Let's reduce the taxes here a little bit. So while that's running, so we should have some more Okay, they're still in the middle of building it. 
And these guys are still working on building those um, commerce raiders. Alright, so that finished. Let's move them over there. Aerial bacteria and aerial bacteria and antiseptic principle we discovered. Lose militancy, guess. Army attrition minus five percent. Military hospitals plus one percent. Pop growth. Good. Lose militancy. Liberal agitation will be removed from Mercen. Good. Oh, we're almost there. I think we're going to take like one, siege one or two more provinces, and we should be able to enforce peace or enforce our demands. Well, the budget's all over the place. Ah, we discovered dam diamonds. Oh, oh. Almost missed this. We can create a protectorate there. We can create the protectorate there. We can create the protectorate in Manitoba. Uh, where else were we doing? We can create it here. We can create a colony there. We can start colonizing there. We can bump that up. All right, anywhere else that we can start colonies? Uh, does not look like it. Okay. Oh, so we're gonna have to kick that uh, those taxes back up a little bit. Uh, these guys could probably just get out of there so they stop taking attrition. Pretty much as soon as we're done with this war here, we're going to start justifying a war against this guy to take this piece of their territory. Then we're going to start thinking about going to war with this guy to take some of their territory. Yeah, so we've got, we got a lot of work to do down here. We're going to go to war with these guys. What I need to get... Let's see. Let's see. Can I transport those over there? I do have to remember, I need to keep an eye on these symbols up here. Because yeah, now we're, we probably have like revolt risk all over the place now. Yeah, we do. Uh, oh, what's this? Receive an offer of peace. They are offering... Is that what we want? That may be what we want, yes. So if we go to their diplomacy, we propose peace. Proceed.
Yep, there we go. That that worked. Okay, just gotta, you know, get myself familiar with the interface, how everything works. Force the Macedonian curricula. Oh. We can create a state. So we can make this a state. Excellent. We can create a state here as well. All right, so we got that ship. All right, good. We have another one we can bring over here. Let's continue to build steam transports oh we have begun an election it looks like and these commerce raiders are still under construction okay all right so you guys we want to begin justifying war um, Add the sphere, cut down the size, make puppet, establish protectorate, annex and uncivilize by forcing them. Uh, okay, what's this? A debate has flared up. Local course, course, election about whether the state should interfere or not in local economy. Um, proponents of state capitalism arguing that a more direct system of government investment and reinvestment could aid in the long-term development of the local industry. We want them to become much more in favor of state capitalism. Some measure might be considered. Let's see, we don't necessarily want the militancy, so let's go ahead and let's just take the middle of the road on that. Let's see, all the below. Hold on, oh, it's not paused. I think this just makes us annex it, yeah. Ten infamy? What's our current infamy? 4.92, that's perfectly fine. Alright, let's proceed on that. So they're just too small for us to take a state, so we're just gonna annex them. And Funj. They should be one of our neighbors, should they not? Yes, they are. Increase their opinion. They're now cordial. Is there anybody else we want to be sphering? We want to try and start influencing Yue? Uh. Sure, let's do it. So I don't think UA likes us very much. Ah, oh, there's the add war goal button. Okay. Have to keep uh to remember that. We still have all these uprisings. Love and war. War policy debated. Let's see. We are patriots and we are going to fight for our country. People that support jingoism. Pro military, anti military, pacifism. In favor of jingoism. Uh, yeah, we want them in favor of jingoism. Oh, we got detected eight and a half infamy. Ah, uh, that's not as bad as it could have been. We don't want the infamy to get above 25. At least that is what I understand, because bad things happen when it gets that high. All right, 
right, so we have 13 of these. So what we can probably do is go ahead and just disband one of these guys, because they're pretty much useless. So, yeah, we'll get rid of that. Liberal agitation spreads. Let's see, we want to get them on ships. And we want to bring these ships over there. Regionalism and interventionalism debated. Um, hold on, let me look at my politics right now. We want to keep, we want to improve the support for the national party. Um, interventionism. We want to do state capitalism. Become 15% more in favor of state capitalism. 25% more in favor, but they gain some militancy. Well, let's just go with that. Because of how much uprisings we already have, we... I'm thinking we want to try to avoid the militancy, if at all possible. Ah. We... Can improve... These guys. Oh, we can add them to the sphere. There we go. They are now sphered, and we can just cut that uh, priority down a little bit. Actually, um, oh, their opinion of us is really high. So now we have a little a little country in our, in our sphere. Macedonian trade policy. Free trade. I believe we were doing protectionism. Let the debate take its course and let the chips fall where they may. 50% chance of free trade or protectionism. Militancy, militancy. Yeah. What's this? Ah, there's an election being held. Oh, we got some railroads being built. I think we're getting a lot of railroad. Yep, we got some railroads being built over here. Yep, railroads being expanded. Now, there's not anything that we had direct control over, but that's our, our capitalists that are doing that for us. Um, we may want to take some control of that at some point to make sure that we get our trans-imperial railroad built. Um, who was this? Chernigov. As soon as we do this, probably, um, increase opinion, proceed. If Georgia knocks that back down again, I might just uh, forget it because it's just a waste of time. We want, uh, we don't have any choice, we get some militancy here. Decisive arguments for state capitalism. Delhi was built. It seems that uh, India is where the first railroads are being built. And we have a lot of unemployed factory workers. That may also be causing some of the problem. But I don't want to go too crazy building factories. Uh, more arguments for state capitalism. We have a lot of factories under construction. Artillery factory, steamer shipyard, a liquor distillery. Ooh. I wonder if we could build like... 
You build like a winery? Yeah, let's go ahead and build a winery there. My name has been discredited. Is accusing of things we never heard of. We suspect Inca is behind this. Are the Incans influencing Yue? Uh, let's see. Yue. Inca's influence is only three. Agitation dies down. Liberal agitation. Okay, good. Trinikov has gone bankrupt and claims that they owe us nothing. We must use our military might to safeguard our investors. Can we pay debts? Cassus Belli on Chernigov. Ooh, forced debt repayment. Uh, can that? Yeah, that can definitely support that. Let's bring let's bring a couple armies over here. Control the clergy. Decisive arguments for state capitalism. Man, this, uh... This election... Oh, 1st of July is when it's gonna be, so we gotta hold on a month. We've gained the uh, established protectorate, Cassus Belli. Yep. Georgia knocked them back down to neutral. Okay, so uh, we'll just remove this. We're gonna go to war with Chernigov anyway. Maybe we can add a war goal to annex them. All right, so these guys, we now should be able to declare war. Establish Protectorate. 85 war score to demand a peace deal. Proceed. And we're just gonna march in. Oh, do they only have? They only have the one? Cause uh, Abba took that from them. Okay. Um. Oh, that should be fine then. We just need to beat the army, siege their territory, and then they're done. Let's see, we have 12.94. Um, hold on. Let me, let me look at politics. Residency is the citizenship policy. Give them residency. We won. We wiped out their stack. Which is only basically one regiment. 3,000 men. And actually, we're getting a little bit long here. Election finished. The Conservative Party is a new ruling party. Coalition of the Conservative and Reactionary Parties got 100% of the vote and will form the new government. Let's see. Let's see what have we got. Economic policy. There's a free market economy with the government reserves the right to intervene with the national interest. Okay, so that's not bad. 
Church of State or single body, limited citizenship. Only people of your nation's primary and accepted cultures are allowed to vote. Assimilation rate plus 10%. Protectionism, minimum tariff, maximum tariff. Actually, this is unterrible. We'll keep it there for now. And I have an army here, so what we're gonna do is we go ahead and declare war. Cost five war score. Five war score should be simple enough to obtain. Just want to see if I'm going to get this uh, battle. Ooh. We can create a protectorate in Saskatchewan. Ah, they got away. But they're coming in here. We have another army that's going to get them, so we're not going to worry about that too much. Let's set Saskatchewan. Great Protectoriate. Upgrade it. And there we go. I mean, are there any other colonies that I can establish over there? No. Any other colonies that I can... I can work on? No. Okay. All right, we're going to go ahead, we're going to end this episode here. Got a couple of wars rolling, which we should be able to knock out pretty quick. Um, I assume I probably can't add any war goals. The war's not going well enough, it will cost us. And we'll have to see once we complete that siege, um, if we can add a war goal to that war. Because maybe we can take their territory in addition to making them pay their debt. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.